Hey guys, welcome back to another CXC revision video. I'm your host, Ms. Baye Kem. So as promised, CXC has released the list of topics for our upcoming examination. So I will be going through those topics in relation to what we have been doing here on this site, especially the HSB and biology. We will also touch base with chemistry and physics. Before we get into that, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and also turn on your notifications so you know whenever we post a video, because you know we have been reviewing past papers. Let us begin. So the first thing on the document would have been a little note from them. The Caribbean Examination Council, which is CXC, in response to the needs of its stakeholders amidst the challenges presented by COVID-19 has provided the main areas of study to be used as a guide in preparing for the paper two and paper three examination scheduled for June, July, 2021. However, comprehensive knowledge of the syllabus is critical in preparation for a CXC examination. As a result, the multiple choice paper will continue to assess the entire syllabus. So now you know that even though they have narrowed down the topics for paper two and three, you will still have to know the entire syllabus to be able to pass the MCQ papers, the multiple choice. And you would have already known that we have been going through some MCQ papers, especially for the CXC and HSB. So you can always just look on our channel and see the videos that we have posted for the MCQ for HSB and biology. So for biology, these are the topics that you need to know for paper two. So you need to know nutrition, biotic and abiotic factors, food chains, predator and prey relationship, decomposers, treatment and control of diseases, transport, excretion, reproduction, continuity and variation. So if you're doing the paper three now, you need to know about food tests, ecology study and appropriate sampling methods, the eye and disease. So these are the topics that you need to know for paper two and paper three. And please bear in mind that you still need to know the entire syllabus to help you with the MCQs, which are paper one. So for HSB now guys, these are the topics that you need to know. Living organism and the environment, and that includes the food chain, two, skeletal system, three, excretion and homeostasis, and you have to link it to chronic lifestyle diseases. So you have to link it to some lifestyle diseases like obesity, hypertension. So four, reproductive system, five, heredity and variation and diseases and its impact on humans, six, impact of health practices on the environment, and you have to link it to infectious diseases. So for HSB, we don't have a paper three, so that's why you, you see not applicable here, because it, it doesn't consist of a lab component as yet. So for the newer students who are in food form, they would have been learning how to do their lab component because a lab component is now required for HSB pertaining to the new syllabus that was sent out. So for integrated science, these are the topics that you need. So water and the aquatic environment, electricity and lightning, conservation of energy, metals and non-metals, terrestrial environment, acid bases and mixtures, health and sanitation, fossil fuels and alternative sources of energy, food and nutrition, respiration and air pollution. So integrated science has a paper three and that is because it has a lab component. So if you're not doing the lab, you opt to do the paper three. So we have one, reproduction and growth, two, methods and non-metals, three, terrestrial environment, for temperature control and ventilation. For chemistry, these are the topics that you need to know. Atomic structure, periodic table and periodicity, mole concept, acid, bases and salts, 
electrochemistry, sources of hydrocarbon compounds, organic chemistry and introduction, reactions of carbon compounds, non-metals and qualitative analysis. So for the paper three, you need to know the mole concept, acid, bases and salt, rates of reaction and states of matter. So for physics, these are the topics that are needed. Graph work and analysis of data, deformation, turning forces, temperature, gas laws, types of waves, speed of sound, reflection, refraction, critical angle and total internal reflection, alternating current, resistance, magnetic forces, electromagnetic force, motors, particles in the atom, radioactive emission, and half-life. And if you're doing paper three, you need to know graph work and analysis of data, measurement, hydrostatics, heat capacity, and resistance. So we are once again at the end of another video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and also turn on your notifications so you know when we post another video. And I'll see you next time when we review another past paper.